Hi everyone, um, I'm going to be walking first year students really quickly um, through the housing portal. The housing portal is really, really important. You do several things on there. Number one, you'll apply for housing if you haven't done that. So you'll walk through an application and I'll show you how to do that. You also select your room on the housing portal. So where you want to live next year um, on the housing portal will show you all available options. And you'll also sign your contract for the 2022-2023 academic year on the portal, as well as later on um, in the summer, you will select a meal plan. All on the housing portal, so really important to get familiar with. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and start taking you through some of the steps. So um, this is the housing portal. I'll go ahead and tell you how I got here. You will log into your My A State. So hopefully you've been there before. You'll log in your My A State with your login credentials and you'll look for the housing icon. You can also search housing on the search bar at the top and it'll take you right here to our housing portal. Um, from here, you want to look at this black banner at the top and select academic year housing. And we are selecting for the 2022-2023 academic year. So I'm gonna click apply. And from here, it's gonna take me to the application. Some of you might've already started the application and just not been able to select your room yet. Um, some of you might not have started the application. So you'll have to start the application if you haven't already. Click save and continue. Um, and from here, some will already be populated general information. It'll ask for contact information, address, all of that will be unique to you. And this is just your profile, some generic demographic information um, that we're collecting. If you're interested in searching for roommates that are similar or maybe not similar to you, you can fill all of that out and we'll go ahead and click save and continue. Um, from here, a $100 prepayment is required um, to live on campus. And so if you have not paid that deposit yet, these are instructions on how to do that. It does take 24 hours. So if you haven't done it yet, I would recommend paying it, then waiting that 24 hours and you should be able to continue on in the application process. If you've already paid it, you're going to click save and continue. From here, you'll see something about special interest housing. You can just make a note of this. These are our living learning communities. So for students that qualify for these, it gives um, kind of a description of the community. And if you're interested in living with people who also qualify for that community, there's just a little blurb on that. I'll click save and continue. Now, if I was interested in those, I can add them to my preferences. Um, hopefully you've already been in contact with um, the individuals who are over the living learning communities for honors, Ms. Rebecca Oliver, or um, the Neil Griffin College of Business, Dr. Philip Tu. Um, lots of living learning communities out there, um, but if I wanted to add one, I could um, rate those um, one to five, or I can just pick one. I'm not gonna do it for this example, but that is available, but you don't have to do it. So I can leave it blank if I don't wanna live in a living learning community and just wanna see um, other communities that are available for me as a first year student. Um, the next step is roommate grouping. So we get a lot of questions about this. Um, you students have been able to select roommate groups already before their actual room selection. It's okay if you haven't, you still can. There's a couple of different options. I can, if I know who I want to room with, I can choose this create group icon and I can make a group name for us and um, invite someone to join my roommate group, or I can search for a group, or I can also look at profiles um, and see who could potentially be a good match for me. So I'll have to go back and fill out that demographic information. They can also suggest me roommates, which is a really cool feature that we have on our portal. Um, so here we see some names um, that could potentially be a good match for me as a roommate. Um, I'll let you all look on that for your own time. But again, you don't have to select a roommate group, especially if you're interested in some of our single room options, which I'll talk a little bit more about in just a second. Um, but I can just click save and continue even if I'm not in a roommate group. All right, so this screen 
you will see after you have paid your deposit and received an email from University Housing, you'll be receiving that on March 30th, um, probably in the afternoon from University Housing for first year students um, with a time slot. That time slot is the earliest time that you can log into the portal and actually physically select your room that you will be living in for next year. So until that date, until your time slot, you won't see this page. But when that time is here, you will see this page. So from here, um, it'll say initial selection. So I have some options here. I can do a single occupancy, which is a private bedroom. I will have a shared bathroom space. Or double occupancy is the traditional double um, occupancy room where I would have a roommate and then a shared bathroom with two other people. That's our most common um, first year style way of living. And then the four bedroom slash two bath, that is what we call a quad style living. This is where individuals have their own private bedroom, share a bathroom and also share a common living space with four individuals. So um, a quad style of four people. So that's just a quick blurb on those. You can also pop over to our website um, and click down on housing options and see pictures um, and quick little videos. You can also follow us on Instagram. We have fun reels that kind of highlight all of the different areas and what they look, look like. So I definitely recommend doing that. If I know my initial selection, I can go ahead and select one of these. If I wanna explore and see what's available, um, I can always go back and click something else on the initial selection. One more thing that I wanna make a note of before I show you what it looks like to actually select your room is that our housing portal is live, which means all of the options that you see are what is available. So if you do not see an area that you want to stay in, that means that it is no longer available. Um, so I like to compare it to um, shopping on Amazon. So if it says out, if well, so at, in, on Amazon, it would say out of stock, but on our portal, it just won't be available. So simply is that what you see is what is available to you. So let's say that I am interested in a double occupancy space. So I can click this one and hit select. And from here, um, I am able to see available selections to me. So um, we do use a little bit of abbreviation. So just kind of so you know, um, I can see a couple of different options. If I qualify for honors, um, I should be able to see honors here. If I'm interested in College of Business, I should be seeing College of Business. Um, please just note um, HLLC3. So what was formerly known as Honors 3 is now just a traditional community for anyone to live in. So if you're not honors qualifying and you see H3, um, just know that you can select H3 if you'd like. Um, let's say that I um, have talked to a couple of people. I've been to some university housing open houses and I'm in between University Hall and Kays Hall. So I can just only request to see those spaces by clicking these little check boxes right here, um, kind of towards the left of my screen. And from here, they're just going to be in alphabetical numerical order. So I can see all of the open spaces that are available in K's. Um, so they have plenty on looks like the second floor, the fourth floor. Um, and all of these pages are full of things. So maybe I want to see what's available in just university. So I can uncheck K's um, and look at it that way. So it really is like online shopping. You can um, filter this um, as many ways as you want and look at it that way. One thing that I also want to point out is this little bed icon with the number two that indicates that I have selected a double space. Um, so let's say I'm like, okay, I want to live on the third floor of University Hall. We'll see if there's anything available on the third floor. So there's lots of second floor. Keep clicking, perfect. University 304 sounds like a wonderful place for me to call home. And then under it, I can see that I will share my bathroom. It says with 303, so it says 303 slash 304. That indicates that those rooms are what we call suite mates. So if I have a roommate grouping of me and three other women, um, and we wanna be suite mates, um, that's kind of how you navigate that, just so you're aware. So I would click add to cart just like Amazon. 
<laughs> and from here, I would assign myself a bed. So if I was in a roommate group, my whole roommate group would, would pull up and I would be able to assign um, myself to bed one and then my roommate to bed two. Since I don't have a roommate, I'm just claiming bed one. That means another individual could go in and pick bed two. Click assign beds. And it is confirmed that I will be living in University Hall 304 um, for the next school year. So let's just say that um, I didn't go all the way through that and I didn't actually want to live in a double occupancy in university. <clears throat> I'll need to take it out of my cart, I think. Play around with it. I don't know, okay. Um, so let's say I want to look at single options. Maybe I'm okay with a double option, but my first choice is a single occupancy room. I can click single occupancy. And I know that Arkansas Hall has all single occupancies um, and that Case has some single occupancies. Um, so I can click those two and I can see all of the available beds um, in Arkansas. Now I just want to see Case. I'll uncheck Arkansas really quick um, and see singles. Again, I wanted to make sure that you all see the number next to the bed. When there's a one, that means there's only one person that's staying in that room. Of course, like I mentioned, they are sharing a bathroom with one other person and that room number is the slash next to it. I want to live in K's 108 in a single room. I add that to my cart. Well, let me. And then I click save and continue. Again, assigning myself a bed. I have to, looks like I have to unassign a bed. Um, but that's how you walk through the housing portal. Um, again, we have a full website and our Instagram and Facebook are a great place to go and view um, photos. We also have a couple of open houses coming up. Um, you can tour um, by appointments if you want to reach out to our office, but that's the housing portal. So please, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to us, um, but I will upload this video as soon as it's ready and we'll send it out to you guys and we can't wait to see you in the fall.